Coca-Cola went public in, I think it was 1919. And the first year, one share cost $40. The first year it went down a little over 50%. At the end of the year it was down to $19. There were some problems with bottler contracts, there was problems with sugar, various kinds of problems. If you'd had perfect foresight, you would have seen the world's greatest depression staring you in the face when, when the social order even got questioned. You would have seen World War II, you would have seen atomic bombs and, and, and hydrogen bombs. You would have seen all kinds of things. And you could always find a reason to postpone uh, why you should buy that share of Coca-Cola. But the important thing wasn't to see that. The important thing was to see that they were going to be selling a billion eight-ounce servings of, of beverages a day in, uh, this year, or some large number. And that the person who could make people happy a, a billion times a day around the globe ought to make a few bucks off doing it. And so that $40, which went down to $19, I think with dividends reinvested, has to be well over $5 million now. And if you develop the view on these other subjects that in any way forestalled you acting on this more important, specific, narrow view about the future of the company, uh, you would have missed, missed a great ride. So 